Well, once again, these two girls <laughs> did the job for us offensively and defensively, uh, scoring big baskets when we needed them, grabbing rebounds when we needed them. Um, proud of everybody on my, my team today. I, we knew this morning when we got up for breakfast that they were focused. Um, they had an agenda for today, and they stuck with it. Even when things got scary there in that fourth quarter, um, you know, the coaches were talking about what we needed to do. I heard these guys chirping in the huddle, and I, I mean, they weren't ready to give up. They wanted to finish it, and by golly, they did. You like, by golly? Paul, what was the difference in that fourth quarter compared to the first three? Well, I think Waterford came after us a lot harder. I mean, I knew that they, that, you know, we, we had that little lead there, and they knew they had to leave it all on the line, and they came after us. And um, we did not do a very good job of handling their pressure. Um, decision making and passes were not good. Um, every time out that we called, we told the girls what to do the next play, and then they would do something completely different that we didn't talk about. And Jess was telling at the last press conference that they were supposed to listen to me, but, um, <laughs> you know, their girls are high school kids, and they got rattled, um, you know. Waterford's a great team. Uh, they came in with one loss. They were ranked sixth in the state. Um, they've got long arms. They can jump out of the gym. I mean, they came after us. You had so much going for you. That four minutes and 40 seconds when you didn't score in the fourth quarter, that had to be the longest four minutes of your coaching career. You've been doing this a long time. It ranks right up there with the Har Harvest Prep game from 2010. <laughs> I mean, um, we just we needed somebody to score, and I, we wanted the girls to attack the basket. That was one of that was the first thing on our game plan today was to be aggressive and take the ball to the hole because for the most part we are a pretty good free throw shooting team, and I just felt like we were on our heels in that beginning of that fourth quarter. It was frustrating. It seemed like you would get right there and maybe deliver the knockout blow, and then you couldn't do it. Was that? starting to become a concern. They thought, uh oh, you know, are we going to let them back in here and fight in the end? Well, you know, I don't think we played very good in the first half, and we were up by nine at, at halftime, and I told the girls, I said, you can't let this team stick around. When you let a team stick around like this that's hungry, and Waterford's hungry, you let a team like that stick around, you're going to pay. And uh, I was concerned, you know, when, when it got down to, I think, a three-point game, right? I, I was very concerned about whether we were going to hold on and finish what we started. <clears throat> Jessica, you obviously in the second quarter took this game on your back because you drove, you, you, she said you attacked the rim, you got to the rim. You, tell me a little bit about the mindset and your focus in the fourth quarter when you saw it slipping away to get back on top like that. Well, I tried to calm everyone down. Um, Olivia Corner was kind of going nuts and <laughs> I tried to talk to her. She was just in her own little world out there and so I was like trying to like calm everybody down but it didn't seem to get it until when we needed help on the pressure because we're not very good under pressure and so like when it got down to the end it was kind of like scary but we finished it so that's all that matters the move you made to shoot the layup the drive with the left hand layup with the pressure right? unbelievable unbelievable. No, unbelievable move talk about that because that was an instinct play am i right yeah um well i knew she was right under me and so i knew that if i like try to like jump stop she would just keep like she would be right on top of me still so I kind of like just like I don't even know how I did it <laughs> honestly let's just say that Jess plays a lot of basketball in her driveway with brothers and other cousins and stuff and that to me that move was a driveway move I mean she just took it to the hole and got her left hand extended over her and it was a beautiful shot it went in crowd went crazy Speaking so the cousins was that a Darian Rose move <laughs> I, I tried I tried a lot <laughs> to take over like she does because she has a really tough way of playing and it's hard to try to compete with her. So, well, what a compliment to be in the same <laughs> sentence, right? Kelly, you had so many rebounds. I don't know how many. I don't have a, a sheet there, but they only have her down for six. But it was a mighty six. I'm going to say that because I don't think any of those were in the first half. <laughs> I was very upset with her in the first half, but I thought the second half she did a much better job. But that's what you do. Yeah. Right? Yep. I guess I just, I never want to go away. I don't want to be that athlete that hides under pressure when the game's on the line. I've always willed myself to be that athlete when the game's on the line to give me the ball because I know I'm going to do good things with it. And I think a lot of that comes from playing at Montana because if, if you were on the court and you didn't want the ball, then they didn't want you on the court. So the only way you played is if you want the ball in game point situation, and it just carried over into basketball. Now you said the other day you didn't want this opportunity to slip away. This is how you wanted to finish your senior season. Now you got it. Yep, ended it with a bang. Okay. Hey, Chris, 
Carly, you had so many disappointments that you got over the hump and you won your first state title. You, I mean, now here you are again with your second one. Was it? Are you surprised, really? I mean, is there any different feeling to the one in the second time than the first one? Um, you know, the the first one was a long time coming. You know, we wanted it for so long, so the, obviously that was a great feeling. And this one, you know, when the season started, I don't think a lot of people talked about Fort Laramie. Um, my, my superintendent is an official, and he said, before the season started, he's like, no one's talking about you. And I said, that's great. We'll just be under the radar. Um, but these girls all knew differently. And in our first team meeting, we talked about being under the radar and how it was going to be good for us and how we had to um, have our own identity this year. Because for the last three years, we were Darian Rose and company. And uh, these girls had to make their own identity with defense and rebounding. And those are two things that we prided ourselves on all year long. And so this one is very awesome win. Um, to, to be here when no one expected us to be here except for ourselves is great. And then to come in and play two phenomenal programs. Um, Jerry Close has been at Waterford for 10 years and has done a great job. I've been friends with Jerry for the last eight years. And um, to play him in, in a battle today like we did was just great. So this is a very sweet victory for our, our program, no doubt. What did you tell the girls once you got back to the locker room and you were playing the team before state champs? Well, I was speechless for a second, and they said that's the first time they've ever seen me be speechless, but uh, I just told them I was proud of them. Um, they battled through it. Uh, Coach Chateau, um, about six weeks ago, said you know, that we just grind it out. Um, we don't always win pretty. I don't think we played pretty today, but they found a way to win. You know, hit some big free throws, hit a big shot, get some big rebounds, get some deflections. And uh, they do, this team, they just they grind it out and get the win we need to. And earlier this year, Press Pros Magazine uh, nicknamed us the Cardiac Skins because we put everybody into cardiac arrest for the way we play. And so we brought that phrase up, too, because the, the, I, that fourth quarter was, was cardiac time. And uh, they persevered. So I just told them I was proud of them. Kelly and Jessica, you know, you're biased when I ask you this, but best senior class in Fort Laramie history. I mean, there's been many great senior classes in Army history that have gone through. And I think sometimes to win a state championship like this, it takes a little bit of luck with a lot of talent. And maybe some of those teams just didn't have the luck that they needed. And I think we just got that luck this year. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best. I would say that um, the reason that they get far is because they work hard. That's all they, they're about. They're about working hard because they want to accomplish goals that other people haven't. So. They're not. The, the Jess is only a junior. I hope you guys all know that. She's only a junior. Is, is Coming with a bang. Just waiting for it. You're obviously very proud of the legacy of basketball in the Shelby County League. And this certainly enhances that all the more because you and, and uh, you got two and Anna's got their titles. I know you like to talk about that. And it's something you say very well. Why don't you? Well, you know, Shelby County basketball, I think we get overlooked by the, the, the league up north, the MAC. But um, I think Shelby County basketball is great. Um, Jackson Center, you know, they've got two titles. And like you said, Anna has three. Uh, Larmy now has two. Um, it's good basketball. You know, we're small schools. Uh, we have homegrown kids that work their tails off. And, um, yeah, it's, it's great basketball up in our area. And, you know, we battle every night. We play the MAC teams. Uh, we've got to play the Shelby County League teams twice. You know, Rushi hasn't been here, but they had a great team this year, and we had to play them three times, and uh, all three games were close and tight, and to beat them that third time in a regional semifinal was huge for our program, and um, yeah, I, I, I think we have great basketball. I think you'd have to believe that this puts you among the leaders in women's basketball across the state in terms of a conference, would you not, for the fact that those seven titles? I would, I would say probably, yeah. Because that, that's a lot. I mean, our league is only seven teams. We have a very small league. And so, yeah, to have seven titles is, I think, is a huge compliment to our league. Thank you, Sonny. Kelly, can you talk about the fact that you've won state championships in volleyball and now basketball? How do you feel about both? Um, I haven't really wrapped my head around it yet. And when that final buzzer went off, and I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a state champion again. And it's a crazy feeling because you can't do it without your teammates. So it's just awesome to know that I know I, I won two state championships along with some other girls on the team. But like, it's just awesome to be with your teammates and share this feeling because it's something that doesn't come very often. Did the nerves subside real quick? I mean, last time it looked like you guys were a little tense. It took a while. First time down, she's getting it in the paint. 
bam, the bucket's in. Like you scored six or seven points right away because even Janelle hit a three. Did, did that help everything? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, I think yesterday or Thursday, it took us about three and a half to four minutes to even score. So today, to score right away and hit a couple baskets early, I think that just kind of whew, settled us all down for, for sure. Did you design them to go inside right away and try to, try to calm them all down? Well, yes and no. I mean, the last ever since we started our tournament run, uh, Kelly and Holly have been hot. They've been strong. Uh, Kelly and Jess are probably the most athletic people on the floor. And um, so we wanted to get the ball inside to them. And we, like I said, we want high percentage shots. You know, Janelle hitting that three probably wasn't the most best shot in the world. But when she made it, what, what do you say? You know, good job. So, um, but yeah, you know, Kelly's a strong player. She can leap out of the gym. She's got long arms, so she can jump. So yeah, that was great that we got it into her and we found her. Okay, any more questions? Thank you, everybody.